I lost my old save file. Well, I didn't lose it. I lost access to playing online on the profile that had it. I tried moving it to another profile and look, not owner. So I grinded a bunch. And I'm not as high as I used to be, but I've got a lot more dosh. Let's play this. Aye. Aye, all that progress. This is why, it was, this is why the playthrough was delayed by a bit. It's probably going to be about two weeks delay. Well, I think it was a month. <laughs> That's about it. Oh yeah, but that was when I was away. Mm. Uh, something hates me actually doing this. I think this. Will, yeah, I don't. I think PlayStation's being a bitch, and this would probably be the last time we'll do a playthrough on a PlayStation. Well, it's really this was kind of my own fault, you know. Like I was using a profile I made when I was about fifteen and didn't remember the password to. And being 15, I kind of lied on the age part, which is part of the verification process. I was, how old are you? And I don't remember how old I am, according to you. <laughs> Aye. I made all the normal guesses, January 1st, 1900. Then I went by decade, and I didn't get it, so, you know. It seems legit. We're not the busiest people on the earth, but I'm a university student, and you've got work. Yes. So... And then all that is spent me just sitting home drawing. That's about it. And then waiting for our games to play. <laughs> and I'm, yeah, I make tabletop RPG sessions for us and I make a million videos for commentary comms. We're very busy, people. We're very busy, and our time is very valuable. You should, you should be on it. <laughs> no. No. No one. You should, in fact, this. be insulted that we keep making this shit. <laughs> We're going to say, you should be insulted that we exist. <laughs> oh, that too. That's no, true no. as well. Oh. Someone out there cares about you. Noonan. Oh, yeah. Hi, Noonan. You're not watching the... Oh, oh, hey. oh, fuck. Oh, no, it's not used my... Oh. I... I planned throughout the whole time for me to look like, um... Eddie Hitler from Bottom. I was trying to actually go for a Rick Mayo outfit, but unfortunately, it's hard enough and, yeah. well, you know, R.I.P., even though it's been a month since he died, so... Mm, I did... It wasn't Adrian Edmondson, it was... Adrian uh, Edmondson's fine, it was a Rick, yeah, Ma Rick Mayo. Rick, Rick Mayo. Oh, man. Also, I didn't save... On this new profile, I didn't save the guy from Once Bitten. I just didn't have the Zombrex. Because this is my first run-through of the game. I think we could maybe save the gu Once Bitten guy if we run. I think they're all um, along the way, really. So let's just uh, let's uh, leg it. To Once Bitten? Yes. Come on, let's try and save the guy. I've got, f I've got four million dollars. I can afford a bit more Zombrex to save the guy. Okay, I'm going to keep with my ninja outfit because I'm not actually Chuck. I'm your shadow. Run. Oh, fuck. Oh, we oh well. Have... I can't get an axe. <laughs> Sorry. We're gonna get to him, and he's just gonna pass out dead. Does that happen if you run out of time? Does he just zombify if you get... Oh, yeah, there is a cutscene. But I don't know if it's still in this version. It might Ooh, be. I did not know that. See, one thing that I don't know if they kept from Dead Rising 1, because it never happened, was... Uh, in Dead Rising 1, if a survivor got, like, bitten to death by zombies, you would get a cutscene of them, you know, reanimating. Yes. Oh, okay. you're, you're the psychopath. <laughs> yeah. Fun. I'm gonna grab the, uh, skateboard- oh. Oh. Oh, okay, this- New gameplay element. Oh yeah, we didn't see this. Wait, did you not have a mask? Not on me. I oh, took it off. Oh, okay. I had the uh, sports fan face paint. Sure hope this still works. I think this might be just because of my fanboyism towards Frank West, as you know too much. Mm. I feel like I like that rendition a lot better than Chuck's version. I just feel like it comes a little bit more naturally when presented by Frank. Head over it. Well, that's because Frank is a lot... Frank is naturally a bit more calm, so I'm just going to grab this skateboard and use that to fucking go. Oh, wrong window. Well, that's delayed my going. I want to take a little bit of this part to talk about Dead Rising 3. Oh, 
Hang on, I lost my um, baseball bat because it's still in the... Oh, oh, it's still in the workshop. Leave it, it will come back. Yeah, I'll just grab this coffee cream and go. I, wanna sa I do want to save this guy, I don't want to get as much as possible. But anyway, Dead Rising 3, I started out really liking the myriad little improvements uh, to the combat and the way that the character animated, and I didn't mind the new character, even though I can't remember his name right now. Nick. Nick. Nick Ramos. Yes. Uh, but as it went on, I started disliking it more and more. Um, especially when I came back to grind for this game. And I think I realized what it was that made me start disliking it. Dead Rising free as a whole, or just Nick? Uh, no, I like Nick. I still, I like Nick. I think he's an interesting protagonist for a Dead Rising game because he is such a fucking pansy. <laughs> Like, Dead Rising, they kill millions of zombies, so in cutscenes they're a bit above it all. Hmm. Or at least they seem like they they can handle themselves. Nick is a fucking coward in every fucking cutscene, yet he still fucking push- he still fucking destroys these psychopaths who, for my record, the, um, the obese woman in the diner is probably the most disgusting psychopath for my money that has ever existed. Yeah. That cutscene actually grossed me out. That what that worked. Fortunately, I've not had the pleasure of being able to play Dead Rising Three, but I've I've seen the cutscenes and yeah. I do want to play it. It looks really fun, but it um, is fun. But I came I'm, as I played it, I realized I like it the least out of any Dead Rising game. Would you like to go on? Um, basically, the problem I had with it was oh, you saved these lot. I'm gonna go deal with one spitting. Yeah, your picture. Um. I think it was because it just felt like it lost Dead Rising's identity. The combo weapons were boring, there was like a million variations on the same weapon with no real big difference between any of them. Uh, the big wide open city I think was a bit too much. It was still relatively compact compared to other cities, but it just felt like it slowed things down. The pacing is a lot slower, and I realise there is a mode to help with that, but then it's actually too fast from what a friend tells me. I don't know, I just felt like, I kind of miss the way this game controls where it's kind of purposefully clunky to make fights interesting. It feels weird that the game handles too well, plus loses some of its identity. Hmm. I'm a little bit on and off. I, I, I saw a lot of what the um, game presented. I feel like it tried a little too much to be different. But it looks like, the combat looks really fun and engaging. It is pretty fun, but I still prefer this in Dead Rising 1 over the, over it, mm. just because uh, it makes it too easy. Me and Sweet steamrolled everything. Yeah, I can, I can see how easy it would be. Alright, I got them. It's like, it, it makes it too convenient, so we didn't really prep. By like, Psychopath Path Fight number 4, we just like... Do it, should we go and, like, like this? Should we go and get some food, get equipped? And like, no, we've got one gun. It will handle it. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I see that, that, that looking at it, like, really, on the face of it, there's there's too much of it being a easy, like, combos and the weapons you can make. And the fact that you have easy access to uh, a um, weapons locker. So for any, everything you pick up once will be there, and you can spawn it in an infinite number of times without any penalty. There is, however, a nightmare mode, which puts the game back into the usual um, Dead Rising uh, a fun where there is a constant timer being showed to you. Um, you only have one safe house, etc. Oh, you got the SUV. Yeah, but that's a friend was telling me about that and he said it made it the opposite. Like, it was actually nightmarish. He didn't have any time for side objectives. Really? Just had to go, go, go. Not to mention no. me and Sweet were playing on the PC. And um, have you heard about the PC port? Um, no. Well, basically, it's not a it's not a good thing. I consider my PC a pretty good a pretty good thing. Like, uh, Sween TDF helped me throw it together. Sorry. It's got pretty good bits and bobs, and it lags trying to play that game above thirty uh, FPS. Also, this uh, SUV pretty cool. You can like throw items into the back, and you can store them. Oh shit! I wanted to get Jared in here because Jared is the one who needs help right now. Uh, hold on. I got him. Alright. I'll get these guys back. He also the, uh... also walks slightly faster with people around you, so... Yeah. 
So I got the SUV. Around here, there's a maintenance magazine that makes this thing last a bit longer. Mm -hmm. So you can kill a fuck ton of zombies with it, but the uh, the kind of downside of it is it is pretty slow. It's slow, but it's really good. It's really strong, but apparently it's not strong enough against motorcycles. <laughs> yeah, apparently motorcycles are heavier. <laughs> they can bug out and glitch your wheel into a railing. Shall we go and save, uh, shall we go and help with, uh, Slave to Fashion? Ah, uh, leave, leave that uh, slag. No, I'm joking. Um... Or do you want to get these lot back first? It's going to be a bit of a hassle, especially if we're carrying this guy. True. Let's get them all back, and then go and... Do you even have the leadership magazine? I don't, actually. Why don't you... Oh, oh, I forgot, right. remember, because it's a new profile, but I know oh, where it is. We can grab in, it. It's in here. Yeah, it's in here. Alright, come on, lads. Alright, I'm there. Whoa, frame rate. Really? I yeah, did, I, I just had it. a serious frame rate drop. Uh, I didn't actually have that playing much on single player. I've talked about this game's kind of lack of optimization, but when I was playing single player, I had very few lag spikes. Uh, I guess it might be a multiplayer problem. Would you still say, though, that Dead Rising 3 is good? I would suggest... I would recommend it if you're a fan of the series. Ah. But it... It's not the best. All right, Fair that's enough. just where I'm gonna leave that because I do ultimately like it. I'm happy with my purchase. Me and Sweet still haven't finished the game because we're bad at finishing these things. Uh, like whenever Sweet asks me, we're just like, yeah, yeah, we'll do that sometime. And also, there's a cat on me now. <laughs> so there's a cat on me now. Yeah, just my cat. For the last few days, every time I'm recording something, he somehow knows. It's really difficult to do this. Ah. Uh, okay. Hold on a second. I need to go and. I'm now multi. I'm now multitasking. By the way. Oh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Two. I was on a stream with Lawley while he was playing that. Really? Yeah. What do you uh, think? He was gifted it by the mods on his uh, Space Station 13 server, and they expected a stream of it. And he invited me along because we're both pussies when it comes to jump scares. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like him either. But like the internet exploded about the game. I feel I I I'm really back and forth about it. It's just so many things about it that irritate me. And yeah, this might be me being a pussyfoot because I I don't like horror games, despite who what my name is like. But eh, there's just a lot about it that really irritates me. And I I feel like being the sort of guy who says what really makes a game. Cause, just because of the... It does have... It obviously does have game elements. Um, I actually... When I was on the stream, I started reading up on a lot of Five Nights at Freddy's. I was basically wasted a couple of hours reading about it. Yeah. And basically, well, it's... The gameplay comes from... If you're not affected by jump scares, the game really has a no kind of consequence for you. Because you're just... Ma it's basically fucking... What's it called? Grandmother's Whispers? I think so. There, There is... um, There... It... There is um, a lot of comparison that people have made of that sort of uh, it, 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 that sort of style where you're fixated and you have to monitor things, and yeah. then it, the consequence is death or failure to do something. Or no, it's called grandmother's footsteps. Did you ever okay. play that as in primary school as a kid? Oh, one yeah. guy had to stand at the far side, and when he was looking away, everyone could start running up to him, and the moment he turned around, you had to you know stop dead in your tracks. That mm. shit. That's basically what Five Nights at Freddy's is with a jump scare at the end, if you're not looking at the children. I don't remember quarter circle to forward, actually. Yeah, rescue a nerd from the um, Uranus zone. Ah, uh, think we have time for that with case 4-1 ticking down? It's possible to get over there. Oh yeah, we have to strip to underwear. <laughs> yeah, we do. Which isn't too hard. Luckily, the way to do that is within the same place. Yes. Also, I did get a lot more... A, not a lot more experience with sandbox mode. I mean, I guess we'll do a video on that. We might, yeah. We'll probably yeah. do a video on it. Basically, I killed about 6,000 zombies in it just by using the slicicle. And that is fun. It's good it, fun. It, it, not... it, it's also where I was able to practice fighting the um, psychopaths in a more efficient way. It also gave... Reminded me a lot of my time with fucking de uh, unlocking. It was either the laser sword or the mega buster in Dead Rising One. In Infinity mode. 
Uh, no, 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 I didn't use Infinity Mode. I just started a 72-hour game and just repeatedly drove through the underground parking lot for hours. Oh. Yeah. If you've ever tried Infinity Mode, it is... I, I, I'd say I did it's, do it's Seven Day hard. Survivor in Infinity Mode. Yes. That was painful because... That was painful for a few reasons. Mainly because this was when Xboxes were known to Red Ring of Death... And getting the seven-day survivor achievement required that you leave your Xbox on for nearly an entire day without being able to turn it off. Hmm. And I did it. I spent a whole day doing that, and it was the most boring, like, drudgery-based experience ever. Because Infinity Mode and Dead Rising 1, you had to keep eating to recover health, and health food items yes. wouldn't respawn. And nothing of this type has been repeated in a Dead Rising game. Yeah, I, I did watch a guide of it, though, and god, it is really involved. It is like you had to grab the food magazines, stock up in a safe place, and then just stand there for hours. Oh yeah, I forgot using the ninja suit allows me to negate zombies easier. I'll lose that benefit now. <laughs> what am I doing? It yeah. really wasn't a fun experience. And I don't know, and I would never repeat it. So if I ever lose that Dead Rising one save profile, I'm never going to have those weapons again. Uh, it's, it's weird not, to think that, isn't it? It's not as if you need to go back to it anytime soon, unless you just wanted to do a playthrough just to show off the game. I've already recorded the game, actually. Oh really? Like years ago. Oh Christ! All I right. wanted to do a playthrough of it. Um... The funny thing, the funny thing is, I don't think it. Ooh, hello. All right then. Oh, oh, yep. yep. There he is. There's uh, the big bastard. Has he got quite a long timer? Uh, we'll check in a moment. Okay. I think he stays around for a while, but we should have enough time to go do uh, check the case, and then we could go back in our due time. Uh, he was a lot of fun in the other playthrough because. Uh, watching back Swede's footage really told me a little bit about how much he lagged. Mm. I think that part's up now, actually. At least we won't lag. We won't lag. Uh, you know what the funny thing is? I don't even think I need to strip down to my underwear. But, you know, I figured, like, I didn't want you to... Um, uh, I didn't... Like, it, it'd be weird if you were only down to your underwear. So I didn't want yeah. you to feel self-conscious. Of course. So now we're all in our underwear. Look at this overweight 40-year-old man. Who, uh, go talk to her and she even thinks you're hot. <laughs> oh, wait, okay. Um, right. Okay, maybe you didn't go through her all the... Alright, there we go. There we go. Naked! Not exactly. Almost. Come on, let's let go already. Oh, all right. I thought she was one of those ones who couldn't defend herself, but I've got the leadership magazine anyway, so it won't be a problem, and we should get back to case four. Well, I, well actually, oh. hang on, you have, you have to talk to her first, and then she'll come. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. One of those stupid ones. Uh, I actually prefer it, because therefore she's faster. This is, like, way better, actually. <laughs> Look at all this blood all over me. They didn't realise that the zombie's one weakness was... Being phased out by. <laughs> I accidentally knocked her out of your grasp. Oh, oh. Oh, she's here, she's here at the door, so you can. Oh, okay. Yeah, Never mind. Go, 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 go. Speaking. I mean, we'll get more into this when we get into it, but I did also replay a bit of Case West. I really don't give. Case West is so nothing. Hmm. It is a really dull DLC. I, I watched the playthrough, it, it doesn't really feel like it's much of a... It's just like, it's there. But it's just kind of like, I want to preface that this playthrough, because I am going to do Case West for us, Yeah. this playthrough is going to end not with a bang, but with a whimper. Because mm. <laughs> it is really... Like, Case Zero is actually pretty entertaining. It's a good setup. Yes. I was surprised when I replayed it, I was like, oh, this is actually pretty good. And this time I won't have microphone playback. Oh yeah, that like was a it. fun edit. Mm. Well, there are only unlockable boxes in this game. 
Uh, I don't think so. I only asked because in Dead Rising 1, yeah. you got the Saint achievement. Yeah, you'd unlock Arthur's boxes. <laughs> and uh, Frank's boxes in the first game, I think, were like some sort of blue pair. Oh god, I'm looking on my side now, and it's giving me a it's giving me a little preview window of uh, where Europa is, and it's just her model, like <laughs> it, it, it's her model, like floating in air, like as she's being carried by you, and then it it's you with I really wish I could record this. It's you with your arms out, like you're some sort of bird, just running. Well, yeah, hold- she's hovering like five feet behind me. I'm just keeping her up with my sheer will. <laughs> oh. Doing the Birdman run within range of other people gives them the ability to hover as long as they maintain distance. It's a really shitty superpower. 